preview of my appearance. I have not brushed my hair now in, well, today is day three of being on the road. And now 95 kilometers to the west of Medicine Hat on Highway 1. So, why car camp? And especially in this weather. Um, I was pretty nervous, I have to admit. But I don't sleep well. I mean, even when I'm in my own bed and everything's normal, I, I sleep about four hours and then I wake up and I may be up for two, three, four hours. Um, and then sometimes I can get another little hour and a half nap in before the day begins. So it would more than double the cost of my trip to get motels. And given that I'd probably be sitting there for hours not sleeping, the only benefit of a motel would be, of course, having a shower. And uh, I may do that before the end of this trip. <laughs> or I'll stop in on a really good friend, you know, <laughs> um, somewhere, uh, you know, along the way. Um, but yeah, it, so it, it, to, to sleep four hours, it, it doesn't make sense to be spending over $100 a night. And having a dog, even she, I even have a bed sheet that I've covered furniture with, so there is not a trace of that dog. People would never know that that dog had been in a motel room, but still they want to charge you anywhere $25, $50 extra for the dog. So it's, it's just not worth it. Um, for the amount of hours that I sleep. So there you have it. That's why I'm car camping. Here's a tip for saving some money. I boiled two dozen eggs before I left and I put them back in the carton. And basically, I, yesterday I had three boiled eggs for breakfast. Today I think I'm gonna have two. And it just, do I like boiled eggs? I mean, soft boiled, yes, and warm, but cold, hard boiled eggs, not really a thing. However, it's cheap, it's convenient, um, they last, um, and, you know, I, I get reasonable uh, protein from it. it it's, a good, uh, it's a good little breakfast item or snack item. So there you have it. Sometimes it's, it's not about, do I like it? I don't like it. Whatever, dude. <laughs> when you don't, when you look at, does it make sense and is it practical? As opposed to, do I like it? It's funny what you can cope with, really. Like, I don't love it. But surprisingly, since I, I didn't ask myself these questions, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. So, there you have it. Essentially, I think wherever possible, we as a species need to just stop whining. Stop whining and get down to business. You know, do what's got to be done. Do it in the best possible way. Be as nice as you can. But for Christ's sakes, can we just stop whining? If you have anything to eat, regardless of whether or not you like it, if you have anything to eat and you're not freezing to death, you know, you're warm enough and you're not overheating, you're not baking, and you have clean water and food to eat, you are better off than the vast majority of people on the planet. Yeah, it's about 800 million people that don't even have safe drinking water on this planet. And with all the wealth, that just blows my mind. Anyway, so that's my point there of a good reason to stop whining and get down to business. Feeling well. 
her tummy's been acting up today. A lot. Here we are at the SO card lock in Brandon, Manitoba. I'm here in the back seat. Julesy's in the front seat and gosh, I sure hope she's gonna feel better soon. Cause she has had an upset tummy this evening. There's a ton of room in this parking and this guy pulled up right there and it's running his engine. So I'm gonna use this as white noise Hopefully to get some sleep. Hasn't been an hour yet. It's already getting pretty chilly in here. Ice forming on the window up there.